Hey, Bob Former Corvids with an unboxing video of. Camera keeps falling. You might be able to guess what this is. You might not, but here's a hint. Oh, right, he writes in his head. Here's a hint. It's an unboxing video. Yeah. It's, we're open this now. This comes from New Bakugan Collector. I gave him 40 bucks as a sort of, you know how his original Bakugan for sale with the Elico and all that? That was a sale to get donation money, which is why he wanted the highest bidders, like an auction sort of thing. So I gave him 40 bucks for both of these, even though it would have only cost me 15 at retail. Because I, number one, wanted to help him get out of the battle turbine. Ugh. This thing is so cool. Yeah, it's like a DS sleeve thing if you flatten it out. Uh, I can, I can like put candy in here. Uh, uh, thanks for the styrofoam wrap. I think it's called. Yeah. By the way, there was originally tape on this thing over that part there, but I ripped it off before the video because, well, you know, it's bugginoid. So, camera, move down. I can't move the camera down. Dang it. Okay, I'll just use the bu Oh, DS case. Even better. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So the Strike Flyer, well, bam, it is 750G, as we all know. Okay, let's open him up. And there he is in uh, whatever mode it is. I've actually taken pictures of the ball mode off of the internet and made like a monster form composition, basically, of what he would be look like, pretty much. Oh, yeah, there's his tail. Let me go get that composition, whatever it's called. Back with the pictures. Um, so, this is Strike Fire by himself. Uh, yeah. The wing detail... This wing, not that thing, but this part might be different. It might just be like giant dragonoid wing, basically. Um, sort of like this thing, but like with five of them spread out more. And with the way I made these ones, these ones here, pretty much. Sort of like these ones, but th this would be here, and wah, wah, wah. That's probably how it's gonna be. But if you see on the strike flyer, the separation thing, that's why I have it like this. It's all based off of the strike flyer thing. The face, I. I made the face a bit tall. But it looks more like a Kraken, I guess. And now here he is with Battle Turbine. Same thing pretty much, but with the claws here. Little missiles in there. That's the way it is. Gigantic bazooka missile launchers, turbine, hexes, the, that, and he has the this part here. That's on that's on his back, and then the yeah, then it's on his back, and that's really the only difference. Yeah, the wings are replaced by the claws. Wanna know how I figured that out? Uh, well. Usually the part that gets folded down is the part that gets replaced in Battle Gear. As you see, the wings disappear. Those are his, those little white things mark his arms right there. That's his arm right there. Looks like it's connected to that. Then you open Battle Turbine up. Claws are right next to the wings. Now let's see here. Do claws belong on your shoulders? No. They belong on your arms. That's why that... So, yeah, that's concept art, I guess. This is my version. I think it's decent. Uh, yeah, it's decent. The wings here are probably going to be different than the show. More like, uh... 
I'm just gonna draw a third one. Uh, I'll fix that later, but, like, sort of like these things, but with five of them spread out more, a lo lot bigger. Yeah, that would be the only difference there. Uh, review time. Okay, so review on these guys. Yeah, let's get started. So, let's begin with Strike Flyer in ball mode. Shut up, Mario! Anyway, so this is the ball mode. It reminds me a little bit of, um, sort of reminds me of Altair because of the wing pattern. Here, sort of, not really. You can see his eyes just staring at you from here. His little hands, his feet, his tail, all this good detailing. White, blank horn. So we're going to take out the white horn, take out his legs. His legs are really nicely detailed, even though it's just foot attached to a really long stick. But the actual feet are detailed. Now we... Open him up. It gives you that popping action again. At a closer angle. Open him up. As the tail flies back and all that. Okay. Oh wait, we are opening him up. Uh, now you can have to take out these things with the white on it. Like that. And there he is. His entire face is just there. You can't really get much body detailing off of this, unfortunately. So I like copied over detail again and again and again. Like a dragonoid would with that. Body is complete guessing. And so is the legs and the upper arms. But yeah, still looks pretty cool. From the top here, you can just see this peg sticking out there. 750 whopping G's. Got the tail here. Uh, the tail, I like how it's thinner here and then a thick piece here. That's how it is on a normal tail. Not all, the same kind of thinness or thickness all the way through. Well, if you have a thingamajig on the end, like this one does, you don't. Oh, I think it looks like a turtle. The tail piece, it looks like a turtle. Uh. That's my preference. Yeah, so the entire thing is based off of this thing and a bit of my imagination. Uh, decent. I like this thing. Yeah. Now to put in Valgear mode, you have to close the feet. Then rip down the fins. Looks like this now. It looks like Theranoid. Oh yeah, and I like this. Wee! Deep thing that comes out of it. Then you just pop the bow turbine on. Already showed you that, I think. I don't know. See the claws replace the wings. So yeah, now we have 810 Gs because this thing has 60 Gs, which is awesome. Yeah. Uh, the silver with the Ventus looks really nice. I think it goes well together. Oh yeah, and normally when you plop it on, you, like, just pop it on, it does this. Whoop! Opens up like it falls over. But seriously, if you look in there, there are little missiles in there. Well, little triangular cylinder things in there. And the claw opens through a push thing. There's a little tab in there that pushes this thing up, basically. Same works backward when it goes back. I'm not going to show you how to close it and everything. You can just see NBC's video. NBC, one, two, three, explosives in the world to see. Anyway, so, yeah. All this nice detail. Weird flaps. So, yeah, go find a strike flyer and a battle turbine. You won't regret it. This has been a, bi this has been a bioform recorder review. Ruben!